Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to each and to every one of you. Come on in, come on in. So good to see you on this morning. Y'all come on in. This is another day, another day that God has blessed us with. Yes, he chose you and he chose me that on today, on this day, that we would be coming together, that we would be connecting together. But more importantly, this morning, we are connecting with Christ. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise this morning, for we are here. We are yet breathing. We're moving. We're able to come together. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to just give God praise for that alone. Uh, yes, I see you. I see you coming. Come on in. Come on in. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. And this morning, we're so delighted, delighted and happy today that we have this moment of coming and sharing with you doing life together. Thank you so much for coming in and joining with us. I see you. Yes. Come on. Come on in. We're going to have a great time on this morning. On yesterday, we found that he just says, I forgive you. Hallelujah. And we are. We are to be tenderhearted, kindhearted, and forgiving just as Christ forgave us. Hallelujah. But today is another good one. Today is September the 14th. September the 14th, and our devotion just says, I am pleased. Hallelujah. God, I love to hear that there. I am pleased. Let's go to our devotional now. Let's dive right in. It's written by Pamela to St. Howard. I am pleased. Well, did you know? that we are pleasing to the Lord just the way we are. In this morning scripture, you hear that God the Father declared to the world that he loved his son. It was a message about Jesus, but also for Jesus. Sometimes, sometimes we need that. And Jesus was no exception. He had just been baptized and had not yet embarked on his life's work of preaching and, and teaching and healing. He was still a ministry newbie. <laughs> yet the father wanted Jesus to know he was already pleased. Before Jesus taught one sermon or performed one miracle, he was already pleased. The father was just pleased with him being his son. Hallelujah, God. Thank you for that word there. We See, today we struggle. We struggle with this because we are more like the biblical character Martha than we are Mary. Oh, we love to do. We love to research, to, to get things ready, to pull off the event with gusto. But if you're familiar with the story in Luke 10, Martha's sister Mary was the one who sat with Jesus and listened to him. Yeah, Martha was busy getting out the matching china and, and polishing the good force. <laughs> That's just my imagination right there. Jesus, Jesus loved them both. But he commended Mary. And Martha, well, well, not so not so much. Why? Why? Because Mary, Mary had sensed that Jesus wanted to fellowship with her and wanted to lavish his love on her, not to watch her work. The idea that God is already pleased with us sometimes is hard truth for us to accept. We are always eager to work for the Lord and, and we are surrounded by opportunities to serve. But, but we just need to remain mindful not to etch, attach our value as his child to our service. Today I say be mindful that we are pleasing to the Lord just because we are his. 
Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise. Thank him today for we are pleasing to him just because we are his. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for this devotion on this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, let's move now to our scripture of consideration. We're going to go right over to Mark 1. Mark 1, verse number 11. Here it is. Then a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for this word. I love this word right here. Yes, Mark 1 and 11. It just says, then a voice came from heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that voice. Thank you for that voice, that reassuring voice. It says, you are my beloved son. Hallelujah. That's what the voice said. The very first thing that it said was, you are mine. You are my beloved son. Just in that alone, it was encouragement. That was something to remind Jesus. And it's something for us to understand and to know that we are his beloved, his beloved son, his beloved daughter. He's saying today he loves us. Hallelujah. He loves us. And just because of that alone, he's saying he is well, he is well pleased. He's so often we think we have to be in our hands into this and our hands into that. We have to be busy bodies, always doing something. We have to be over here and over there. That's what we feel like. We just got to work. We are, 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 are valued by the work that we are putting in and what we're doing. But he said, sometimes I, I just I want you to know that I'm pleased because you are mine. Sit down. I just want to fellowship with you. Sit down. I just want to talk with you. Sit down. Slow down. Take a moment. Spend some time with me. That's all I need you to do. You off running here and running there. Slow down. That's what he's saying to us on today. I'm pleased. I'm already pleased. You're trying, <coughs> excuse me, you are trying to please me. You feel that working here and there is what's pleasing me. But I'm saying to you that I am already pleased because you are my beloved child. Hallelujah. God, thank you. For this word, this just freed me up. This just released me. This just gave me some motivation. This just gave me something to hold on to because I am his child. He is pleased with me. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise. You ought to just say thank you right there, God. Thank you for indeed we are your children. Hallelujah. God, thank you for this word. Hallelujah. Come on, let's go to God now in prayer. Most gracious God, our Father, our God, we just thank you today. God, we bless your name today. We praise you today. We worship you today. God, indeed, you are mighty and powerful. You are awesome. God, you are the great I am. And this morning, we just thank you for that on today. We bless your name for that on today, God, and we thank you for calling us your children. God, we thank you for loving on us. We are your beloved children, God. We thank you for that on today. And God, we thank you for this reminder today that, God, you just want to spend some time with us. God, we are precious to you. You want to hear our voice. You want to see our face turn to you. God, hallelujah. We are to focus on you and allow you to speak to us, allow you to direct us, allow you to give us our direction, our order. God, allow you to just fellowship with us. You just want to spend time with us. God, and for that, we are, are to make time, God. We are to slow down and make time. Some of the things that we're doing now, we ask that you, God, will bring about clarity. God, show us what it is we need to to, to be rid of. Show us what it is, God, that we need to, to, to step away from. Show us, God, today, God, what it is you would have us to do and not to do, that, God, we are able to spend time with you. God, we just thank you for loving on us so much. 
Heavenly Father, today. God, bless us that we may be able to show the love that you show us. God, have us to be that beacon light. Have us to be the Christian. Have us to be the believers, God, the one that you have called us to be. God, that as we, God, are going throughout this world, God, that we are sharing your love, that we are impacting the world, that we are that 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 we remember, God, that we are significant in this huge grand scheme of thing. All that we do, God, is to bring glory to your name. And so, God, just bless us and keep us strong. Keep us, God, confident. God, keep us uh, uh, physically able to just do what you've called us to do. Now, God, I'm praying, God, for those who are now ill, God, those who are, are, are sick, those who have lost loved ones, those who, God, are, are, are going through financial situations, those who even now, God, in the midst of this pandemic, God, who are right now mentally, God, are just drained, emotionally strained, God. We want you, God, to show yourself mighty and powerful, God, and remind them that indeed they are your children, God, and in them you are well pleased. Hallelujah, God, they just want to hear your voice. And God, do it now, God, that they might continue to seek you even the more. God, we just bless you, we thank you, we love you on today. Now, God, we ask you, keep us that we might be kept. Bless us today that we may be more of a blessing to someone else. God, do it for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. And everybody said amen and amen. Come on, let's give God some praise on this morning. Let's just thank him right now for loving on us, being pleased with us. Hallelujah. Just because we are his children. Hallelujah. Send up some hearts. Send up some love. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. That's a reason right there to give God some praise. Well, I trust and pray that today's devotion was a blessing to you. If it was a blessing today, share it. Share it with someone else. Someone else needs to know that all Jesus is looking for us to do is to spend some time with him since that he just wants to talk with us, that we can slow down, we can, we can pull back from some things, that we can free up some time to just spend it with him. That's what it is. And he's already pleased just because we are his children. Share this word on today. I ask you now, you, you today, just spend a few minutes just laughing with the Lord. Just spend some time with him on today. Let him enjoy your company. Well, I am Reverend Davis. Executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. And we're just so delighted that we've had this moment, this time of sharing, coming together with you. Thank you so much. We don't take it lightly. We truly, truly appreciate you. And we pray blessings upon your life. I ask you now, tune in with us. Tune in with us again on tomorrow. Tune in 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. We trust, we pray, we know that you will be blessed for having done so. Please know today that I love you, but God, God loves you best. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.